always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5. Springs police have identified the motorcyclist killed Sunday by a suspected DUI driver. 35-year-old Christopher Larkin hit by a truck in the 3100 block of North Academy, dragged, thrown from his bike, then hit by another vehicle and killed. Police say they've arrested the driver of that truck, Shaheen Taragi. He's facing charges of vehicular homicide and DUI. If you're heading south on I-25 this coming weekend, expect a full closure north of Pueblo. Starting Friday, CDOT will be doing improvements on the Burnt Mill Road exit, like putting a guardrail, bridge repairs, and resurfacing. So it's just part of the project to improve the smoothness and extend the life of the bridges and put some waterproofing membrane down on the bridge. The closure isn't expected to cause major delays and that part of I-25 expected to reopen sometime by Friday as well. Let's get a quick weather update from Mike. Thanks, Rob. It was cooler around here on Tuesday, but these temperatures still way hot for this time of the year. Cold front pushed through early Tuesday morning, so only 87 in the Springs. Pueblo, an afternoon high temperature of 94 degrees. Lows tonight on the warm side for this time of the year. We're going to have low-level upslope. That'll bring in some clouds. That'll trap a lot of the heat we generated today. So without those clear skies, it's going to be an unseasonably warm night. Afternoon highs on Wednesday, just about the same as what we had today. Afternoon highs much hotter than what we should have, but at least a better chance of landing some PM thunderstorm activity. In fact, I'll keep those afternoon thunderstorms in your forecast all the way through the weekend. Really hot on Thursday, close to a record high, and then a little better, a little easier to take over the weekend with afternoon highs cooling down to 80 degrees. And for Pueblo, it is going to stay hot. Afternoon highs in the 90s for the next few days anyway. I've got thunderstorms in your forecast, just isolated Wednesday and Thursday. Then a better chance of getting some rain that you need so badly Friday, Saturday into Sunday and cooling into the upper 80s.